you've published your courses in Noteful, you can find them by clicking on Courses and navigating to whether it's current, upcoming, or past. So since the semester has not yet started, my course is still listed in Upcoming. I'm going to click on this demo course, and we're going to use this for the remainder of the videos. In here, I'm going to start by taking a look at the About tab. The About tab has a lot of information that professors can edit and update as they need. Anywhere you see a pencil, you can go ahead and make changes to that area. You'll also notice that next to books, you have a plus, and you can add ISBN numbers to books there if you wish. Let's take a look at this course at a glance. If you click the pencil there, you can edit some of this information. Now I'm using a demo course, so I can change the name and location here, but for actual academic courses at Denison, you cannot change the name or the location. Those are fed over to Nopal from Banner, which is the system of record, and they will change if you try to update them. So please leave those as they are in your courses. You have an available and a closed date listed. Those are editable by professors of a course. Available date, that's the date that you want students to be able to see your course. So you may want to set that for a day in the future if your course is not ready for them yet. By default, this is usually the day before the semester begins. You can also update your close date to be when you want the course to close, meaning the students will no longer have access to that. Units down here, this is actually the credit hours, and again, that is not something you can edit since it is fed into Nopal from Banner. Once you edit your available and closed date, you can hit save there. You'll also notice in the About tab, you have instructors listed down at the bottom, and you can add a link to your syllabus if you wish. You can also update some information about the course right over here. You'll notice up here in the top right, you can also change the cover photo for your course. If you click on that pencil there, you can simply pick a different color, you can choose a different theme photo, or you can upload a photo of your own. Note down here at the bottom the recommended upload size. Some faculty members have found this useful. They put a different color or a different photo for each of their courses so that there's a visual indicator of which course they're in. Another general tool you'll notice is this More tab. Now, students do not have access to this More tab. This is for professors in particular. So if you click on the More tab, you'll see that you have some additional options. You can view as. View as is a great tool, and I will talk about it more in future videos. But if you take a look here, you can choose a particular student in the course or TA that you can take a look and view as though you were them. And it's a really useful tool when you're setting up assignments, tests, quizzes, things like that. To exit, you just hit the X there. Also in the More tab, there is a Tab Visibility option. If you click Tab Visibility, this is where you see what each of the roles in your course have access to. By default, instructor and student have access to all of the tabs, though their views are different. TAs and observers are not allowed to view the Grades tab. Make sure if you add a TA to your course, you are aware that they see the Assignments tab and do that more view as to take a look at what they see in particular. I'm going to cancel this now, and we're also going to take a look at more and the final option in more, which is import course. If you've previously taught a course at Denison using Noble, you can import data from that course using the more import course option. You simply choose the term and the course date and the content you'd like to import. Please note that if you import assessments, which are tests and quizzes, and assignments, it will import all of them using this import tool, and you will need to go in and update the dates for all of them. That completes the general course settings. Now we're going to move on to the course bulletin tab in the next video.